Ever wondered how to can some ground beef? Well, I'm about to show you. Let's get started. First things first, we gotta go ahead and brown up this meat. We're gonna go ahead and warm up some jars. You can also do this in your sink with really hot water. I chose to do it this way. It just felt a little bit easier for me. We're gonna strain off all this fat. It's now time to remove these jars from this heat and get them filled. We're gonna leave one inch of headspace and add boiling water. Liquids and meat need to be at that one inch header space. Here I'm just running a butter knife down the sides and through the middle to get out any additional air and bubbles. Don't forget to wipe your rims with a little bit of vinegar just to get any grease or anything that might prevent that seal from happening properly. Add your ring finger tight and then we're adding them to the canner. All meats must be pressure canned. We're gonna go ahead and add about three quarts of water to the pressure canner and put on the lid properly, following those arrows. It's hard to see here, but you're going to wait for the steam to be exhausting from this canner for about 10 minutes, and then you're gonna go ahead and add your weight. How much weight is dependent on elevation, so go ahead and refer to your booklet that came with your canner. Processing time starts when the weight starts to rot on your canner. This meat got processed for 75 minutes. I'm now lowering the heat because we are done. This valve has gone down, which indicates there is no more pressure in the canner. It is now safe to remove the weight. And I usually like to wait about 10-15 minutes before I actually open the canner. Always open your canner lid away from you so that the steam doesn't go up your face. <laughs> I actually just waited for my canner to sit overnight and then I opened it and removed my jars. Normally the jars would be super hot, but they had already sealed and were cooled. Don't forget to mark what is in the jar and the date so that you know how fresh your food is and what it is. I hope this video simplified canning the meat for you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.